Hello everyone, it's me Patu and um, the thing that's been kind of getting under my skin that's kind of annoying that I found lately because I know I have a playlist of the things I can't stand and stuff like that. But the thing that I find that's, that's weird is that of course I'm a woman of color because you see I got color on my skin. I have melon. And what's what I find weird is that of, of course when the season changes, your tone changes. You know, you get either lighter or you get darker, depending on how much sun you get and um, and all that. What I don't understand and what just blows my mind is that when I run into people of color, other people of color, especially black people, I know some of you guys are going to write some nasty comments after this, but who cares, is that, whoa, you got darker. You need to, you, you need to take a break off the, out of the sun. You need to stop um getting out there so much you're getting too dark because that's not nice and and to me it's like that's what the skin naturally does if i happen to be out more and i'm getting darker which i don't mind i mean i think i look good bronzed i think i look good chocolatey extra chocolatey i don't see a crime in it but it really had me it kind of like the first time I heard it, I was really like, uh, to me, the first time I heard it, I heard it from this dark, dark ass chocolate woman, gorgeous, gorgeous features. What I loved about her was, I love the color of her skin. Her skin was like dark, dark chocolate. She had these high cheekbones, almond shaped eyes, full lips. Like she was such a gorgeous woman. And when she saw me, she was like, man, you know, you gotten so dark. You need to kind of like take a break. And it made me, it's just kind of, it was weird because I'm thinking to myself, you're so chocolate and I'm like so envious of people like her and my sister Tara, who's like the deepest chocolate out of all of us girls. But I'm like, I just didn't understand. I didn't get that. And, but then it made me think, but then I, at the at one hand, it has me thinking like in society, it's almost like. A lot of people may not admit, but they always do this lighter and darker. And it's that mentality of if you were lighter, that means you're out in the field less. And it's not just amongst African-Americans. It's amongst Asian people in different nationalities and races all throughout the world. It's, 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 to a certain degree, it's, it's like taken so seriously to the point that now you have people actually bleaching their skin, avoiding the sun. In certain Asian countries, they actually wear... Even at the beach, they wear this mask that goes and blocks everything except their eye and lips and come down to the decollete. It's like, it's not that deep. It's really not that deep. Uh, I'm a person who uses sunscreen. I know some people are like, oh, you're chocolate, but you're using sunscreen because I love my chocolate skin. I'm not letting the sun with all the, all the radicals and everything out there to kill it. So I put sunscreen not in the sense of I'm trying to avoid getting darker. I put it on there to protect my skin to protect the melon in my skin and things like that but i don't know i want to know your thoughts on have you experienced i want to get first off i want to get your thoughts of have you experienced someone that is like stay out of the sun because you're getting dark or people who think that li the lighter you are the better it is or the darker you are the better it is or vice versa whichever and um and share me your stories. Please, please hit me up. Let me know that you did it so I can give a shout out and put your video um, link down below. And don't forget to tag me because like, it's just, I don't know. To me, it's just weird. It really is because um, I thought in the eight, when I was younger and in the eighties, when I was a kid and when I would hear that, I thought, okay, you know, old school people. In 2016, I'm thinking like, I don't, I don't understand. I mean, I understand why certain people think that way, but it's like, not everybody thinks that way. I, I am in love when I'm telling you in love with dark, dark skin. I find dark, dark skin to be the most exotic, attractive, sexy, mysterious, gorgeous, um, purest color in physical attraction to me. Now, for me personally speaking, when dating, I've always preferred dark chocolate guys. 
I don't care if he's bald. I don't care if he has waves. I don't care what dark, dark chocolate guys. Like the deeper dark chocolate that Amistad is what got me. But the thing about it was it always fell down to either my shade wasn't light enough or um, my personality was not the stereotypical hood black girl you know black people some black people do play in that negative stereotypes and um so it was either those two reasons why it didn't work out or they or mainly i wasn't there i wasn't their preference because i wasn't the race they wanted so that always that's why i always say i love me some chocolate but chocolate just chocolate don't love me back and when i would see dark women like my sister tara when i would see dark women they were i would be i literally i can't believe i'm gonna admit this but i would literally get jealous i i like when i get i i still do get jealous because to me they, to me they just embody everything beautiful and i don't and you know they say you as a kid you're attracted to what you what you're surrounded with especially your parents my father was like the deepest dark chocolate ever. He was tall. He was strong. And everything about him, especially the great characteristics, just represented that to me. So every time I see someone of a of dark color, dark complexion, it just embodies like it just embodies all this. Um just embodies all this. It invokes a lot. It invokes a lot of emotion. I remember I went to um, vacation for a summer in uh, Louisiana. So I went to New Orleans. I went to Shreveport. And I went to Boulder City. And that, I got to say, by far had to been the best tan ever. Like, you couldn't tell me nothing. I tanned so well. Cause, and I stayed out as much as I could. I, got, I, I couldn't get as deep chocolate as my sister's. Well, my one sister. But I got chocolate, as much chocolate as I could get. And when I came back, of course, back to Chicago, everybody was like, oh, my goodness, you're too dark. And, of course, over there, they're not going to think anything of it because they're just seeing me as is. They don't know me. But when I got back, oh, my gosh, you're too dark. You're too this. You, you, get, you need to lighten up. You need to bleach yourself. And, and to me, it was like, I, even when they said that, I didn't care. Because to me, I looked at it like I look sexy. I feel juicy. I feel like the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. I'm looking good. I'm on point. I look all extra sexy and seductive because it's like, ooh, just like what the color red invokes in men, that's what the deeper the melon is. And what I love, the, 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 the also what I love about a gorgeous dark skin and what I find so gorgeous about it is the features that come with it and that smoothness. Baby, you can't get that smoothness anywhere. In, in society, people go for, people think the palest is sexy. But I'm telling you, for me, the darker, the better. My baby, Mr. Cuban, can tell you that because I try to get him in the sun. I, I, I even like, but like, like, you know, study, you know how girls try to put the sunscreen on a man all sexy. I just be buttering the dude up, turn him over, trying to get him to get as much sun as he can get. It kind of reminds me of my French uncle Luke, who no matter how much he tans himself, he just cannot get um, the tan, the kind of proper tan he wants. But I just, I don't know. I really, really love dark chocolate. Like, and and I know some people are like, well, you're in an interracial relationship. The odds of you having a dark chocolate baby probably be less. But it's like not really because it's still in my DNA. I am chocolate. Look at me. I'm chocolate. I love being a a gorgeous black woman with the descendants of all these gorgeous um rich culture and nationalities because to me i sincerely believe not any there is not really i think there's like 99.9 percent .9 of people on this planet that are not 100 percent pure anything because we've integrated around the world for centuries so it's impossible to me but um mm -mm. nothing is gorgeous to me nothing's more beautiful show represents strength um power i know it's just like power because I, I was trying to find that word like a gorgeous dark chocolate man woman or child like 
It's so and it's so crazy because you can tell that in society, especially in America, not a lot of them get praised or a lot of them get that wow, somebody thinks I look good and they're talking about my complexion. Cause every time when I see someone of a gorgeous dark skin or whatever, and I'm like, I love you look so beautiful. You remind me so much of my baby sister Tower. You're so gorgeous and chocolatey. And then that's not even adding the fact that you got these gorgeous, beautiful eyes and these gorgeous cheekbones and the lips and the chisel features and that, you know, all that. It's just like to them, they're like, really? Like, really? And it's like, yes, really. So this video is basically my thoughts on how I truly feel about dark, darker skin. Like, I love dark skin. And, um... <laughs> All the beauty that comes with it because it is beautiful it is i'm not saying that hey if you're pale or if you're tan or olive or whatever you shouldn't um feel confident or feel empowered by it i'm just expressing my personal thoughts and my feelings on every time i see a dark chocolate brother or a gorgeous nubian queen regardless what nationality or race you are and especially a child to me that's the most hottest thing ever and if god were to ever gift me a gorgeous gorgeous chocolate son or daughter oh my goodness i would let them know on the daily every day regardless what society thinks that you are beautiful and not only are you beautiful you are the most to me precious and beautifulest creation ever not only because of you as a human being or characteristic but mainly because you are so pure with all that gorgeous chocolatey skin and i will always i would definitely em embody in my children that strength that power that everything that i that my father represented to me and every strong woman and man that i've seen that carry their gorgeous chocolatey skin like an armor of power and the armor of sexiness and all that cool stuff so i was shut up talking because if i don't shut up now this video is going to end up being like a few hours long but that's my thoughts on gorgeous chocolate skin especially dark chocolate like dark dark chocolate i love chocolate i do I, for some reason i just wasn't the kind of flavor i probably didn't have enough caramel for a lot of the chocolate brothers and a lot of the complaints i got was that I wasn't too hood or too whatever the negative stereotypes they have for black women. It's like, okay, not all black women or black people or people of certain nationalities or race are all the same. Just because you go through a small group of them doesn't mean they represent an entire group. But that's what I love about them. So please share with me what your thoughts on, have you ever experienced somebody telling you, girl, you're getting, girl, or to the guy, you're getting too dark yet, yeah, or somebody telling you to bleach themselves or bleach your, I mean, someone who bleaches themselves. I mean, my thoughts on the bleaching, it's like, I could see why certain people do it. Do I agree with it? No. Have I ever done it? No. And I know some people are like, yeah, it's easy for you to say, cause you're not that tone that you would want to bleach yourself. But it's like, I'm coming from a point where I'm trying to get as dark as I can get. So, you know, and it's so sad because only my arm and my hands get is getting more darker than everything else on my body. Because when you're in the car driving and they say that sunlight hits in the car, that's the only thing that keeps getting tan. And the crazy, well, I mean, the crazy, I was trying to show the tan line, but I'm trying to get as chocolate as I can. So for all of you guys out there, that makes it seem like no matter where you are in the world, that makes it seem like you're not beautiful or you're not worth anything, or you're less, or whatever, just because you happen to have the unique beauty of having the melon that people, if it was on shelves to buy, they would buy it. Because let me tell you something, the extra chocolate you are, the well-preserved you are, the more youthful you are, you radiate in a way that no other color, to me, radiates. And I'm not the only one who feels that way, because when I talk like that with other people, they're like, I never thought of it like that. Or they think, whoa, you know what? Come to think of it, yeah. There was a reason why I'm a stud and people like uh, Tyson Beckford and Idris Alba and them invoke such, like, ooh, like that dominance, that, that aggression, that beauty, that sex appeal. It's because not only of, of, 
it's because of the color of the skin. It's because of the way they look. So thank you for liking the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Don't forget to tag me. And remember to like my Get Inside Me page, the Facebook page. The Get Inside Me is going to come soon. Thank you for watching. I'm Patu Loka. Bye.